I would say it, it was an unprecedented rollout pace in India. Uh, so, so, you know, the, the India really built out 5G at a pace that we've not seen anywhere else. Uh, that is now normalizing, and the normalization happened a bit earlier than we had anticipated, which is why we had a bit of slowdown in Q4. So we think 2024 will, will be lower than 2023. But at the same time, what we're seeing in India is, is encouraging signs of new innovation on top of the 5G network, with new use cases coming up, data consumption continue to grow very fast. So India will continue to be a very important market for us, a leading technology market. But of course, uh, 2024, a little bit lower than 2023. Borja, always good to see you, sir. Look, um, and I'm sorry I missed you in Davos. Look, um, I always like to brush up on my Swedish. Um, it helps with my friends out there in Gothenburg and Stockholm. So I've picked up a new phrase. It's silt i moron, which is basically jam tomorrow. Uh, and I basically just feel that 5G is still the problem of silt i moron, i.e. we're just being promised the riches from 5G, but it's never quite tangible for us as well. When are we going to get the benefits from this amazing technology? You know, Steve, I only meet you to fresh up my English as well, so we're in the same boat, I guess. <clears throat> now, the, the, the reality is, as you say, 5G is really early still on the build-out. So 5G, where you have it today, is probably one in four, maybe one in three sites being upgraded to 5G midband. So we're very early on that cycle, and you are not going to see the real use cases until 5G is more built out, and we have migrated to 5G standalone. And if you look at that, you see India is really a leading country on 5G standalone. That's why they will lead on innovation on that network. But we're also seeing 5G standalone being built out in, in North America. In Europe, it's, it's a bit spotty uh, and other parts of the world as well. But, but where you see 5G SA being built out, we, we're starting to see innovation come alive. And that's what we really are waiting for.